today we have with us not one but a group of people joining us all the way from Greece and uh, we have the opportunity of having an exclusive session with them only on ITN from Sri Lanka and it is our honor and privilege to have them with us in the studio but before we get uh, into the segment we have the leader of Sensibril and Methodius Youth Choir of Thessaloniki from Greece, Dr. Maria Emma Meli Gopulu. So thank you for joining us and we are truly honored to have you and the choir on the show as well. The choir will be singing uh, throughout the show, but thank you for joining us and for having an exclusive session with us at ITN. It is also our great pleasure to be invited by your program and to sing for you and for your beautiful country. Thank you. And you, I know you're here on a few days, but thank you for squeezing in the time to be here with us in our studio. Dr. Maria, let's start off quickly. How did this choir start? This is a community choir. Okay. It belongs to the Church of St. Cyril and Methodius in okay. Thessaloniki, Greece. Mm -hmm. And uh, I found it 31 years ago. 31 years ago. I was a law student by that time because okay. I first studied law and then I was specialized in uh, choral conducting. And uh, it started with about 40 young girls uh, and uh, during all those past years it developed in a large choral association okay. uh, that works in five uh, departments with uh, over 250 singers. So mm -hmm. we have preparatory choir, we have children choir, we have a girls choir, we have mixed youth choir and we have a vocal ensemble that does more advanced music. So you all have toured around the world as well. What has that experience been like? Yes, during all those years, we have traveled a lot all over the world. We Around how many countries? Oh, many countries. I can't count. But From what I read, you all have traveled, I think, most of Europe, covered Europe. M mostly in Europe, mm -hmm. mostly all over Europe. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but we have done uh, two tours in Canada and United States. Lovely. We have performed in Carnegie Hall in 2017. Uh, we, have, uh, sing in, uh, we have sung in uh, China uh, two times in South Africa. Uh, in Israel, in Egypt, in Turkey, and then almost all over Europe, as you mentioned. Brilliant, mm -hmm. and that really speaks for the success of the choir. Uh, doctor, how do you choose the students? In How do they get into the choir? Uh, when we get the young children in the preparatory choir, we take all of them without audition. Without and, audition? Yes, and our task is to sing them how to sing correctly. So you take them into the choir without auditioning and then you train them? I train them. Mm -hmm. uh, they start around uh, of the age, uh, at the age of six years old, first okay. graders, and then we train them up to fourth grade. Mm -hmm. Uh, how to sing a healthy head voice, uh, uh, basic principles of uh, uh, choral singing, uh, dynamics and music uh, reading. So theory as well in addition to practice? Uh, we do it uh, in praxis. When we s uh, teach mm -hmm. them singing, we ask them also to read the music. We always teach children with music scores and not by ear. Mm -hmm. uh, because it is impossible when we go into more advanced music to learn to sing the music without music scores and without being able to read what they sing. Dr. Ma, what do you all specialize in? What's the type of music you all cater to the people? Uh, our choir or yes. myself? Okay. The choir. Uh, the choir is this choir is a community choir, as mm -hmm. I mentioned. So we do all kinds of choral music that is appropriate for children and youth voices. Mm -hmm. So we, uh, the, the repertoire spans from the Renaissance up to contemporary music. Okay. Uh, a few times a year, sometimes uh, every year, we do a collaboration with the Saloniki State Orchestra or Municipality Orchestra. And in those occasions, we do large scale uh, choral uh, pieces. We have done uh, Carmen Burana, we have done Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. Uh, we have done Vivaldi's Gloria, I mean, large scale uh, choral works with orchestra. Overall, how many members do you have in the choir? In all five departments, it uh, is yes. over 250, 250 children voices. and youth. Yes. But uh, in Sri Lanka, how many are touring? In Sri Lanka, country? only 24 were able to support themselves for that uh, trip. So this is a smaller group. But they're brilliant. So Dr. Ma, do these children, are they full-time singers or do they do other things as well? Yes, uh, our choir is a community choir, as I mentioned, so all singers are amateur singers. Mm -hmm. uh, they are uh, elementary or high and middle school students, and some of them in the mixed youth choir, they are university students. Okay, so this is on the side? Yes, it is so on the side, but they love it very much, and it. even if we have extra rehearsals, they are always there. 